Hi everyone, my name is Jack Ligon. I'm a philosophy and economics double major here at the University of Vermont, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about studying economics. So one of the most interesting things about the field of economics is that it's so highly relevant to many different aspects of our society. You might turn on the news one night and you'll see presidential candidates debating economic issues, um, but you can also see economic decision making throughout the private sector. Um, you might see a CEO that's trying to maximize profits and grow his company, or you might see your friends, just fellow college students, making budgets and trying to determine how to spend their money correctly. So what's really at the heart of all of these uh, is cost-benefit analysis, and that's one of the most essential skills that you learn from economics and that you come to understand. Not only do you learn about sort of how to make cost-benefit uh, decisions for yourself, you also learn about how other people make those decisions and how it all fits together into this web that we call the economy. And so it's a really interesting lens to uh, view decision making through. And it's a really cool marriage of both theory and practice within the UVM economics department. Economics is really interesting to study alongside other uh, fields in the College of Arts and Sciences because it can answer a lot of the practical questions that are raised by fields like the humanities and um, other departments within arts and sciences. So. Uh, for example, I'm a philosophy major in addition to being an economics major, and one ethical question that we might study in philosophy is um, what kind of health care should a government guarantee to people? Should the United States make sure everyone has health care? Should it make sure uh, that only certain people have health care? What is the right thing to do in this situation? And the cool thing about economics is that after having answered that question in philosophy, it can offer lots of practical answers to further questions, like how do we put that healthcare system into place? What kind of taxes do we need to uh, change right now in order to fund that? And where do we need to spend our money in order to bring about that change? So I think that that's really where economics shines alongside uh, other fields in the humanities and uh, liberal arts is that it really allows you to put into practice a lot of the conclusions that you can reach in other fields.